Good morning, my Kintsuki sisters, my grandmothers. What a beautiful season. This is Kalina, your Kintsuki sister. We're up, just up in Aurelia. It's a beautiful day. We've uh, been here for a few days, enjoying some peace and quiet. And we've had the opportunity to stay at someone's home, and it's been beautiful. We've had some time just to do a little bit of fishing, enjoy our time together, and life is good. Life is good, you know. We've gone through so many challenges, and we've had many things to deal with in the last year. The last two years, there's been many, many changes. We found out my daughter, she had cancer. She had two different surgeries, and she's doing much better now. But that was a big concern and she's doing much better now and thank God thank God my father passed I had a new knee replacement and life is continually changing I have a new grandson and I'll have another granddaughter by the end of the year and there's a lot of stress good stress and bad stress but we have to focus on what is good in our lives and remain calm and whatever is going on in our lives just to Lift it up and give it to God. Give it to the universe. Give it to our higher power. I found out recently that the Golden Mary gold over there apparently you can make tea from the flowers and the leaves you can eat like spinach. And you know, all these things, many things we don't know about nature and what God has for us, but years and years, thousands of years of mysteries, of secrets, of, of all these things that. People have known, women especially, have known, and you know, we all know what that did, how women were treated, and the sorcery, and they always thought it was a woo-woo, right? You know, because a woman, it's just because we have, take the initiative, and we have that innate knowing that we understand that there is more, you know, a lot of men don't take the time for that. Look at the shadow, or the, sorry, the reflection of the trees here. Often we're just that shadow or reflection, and our true self never gets to come out. We never get to use our voices. We never get to say what we need to say. So I'm here today, a voice for the voices. I'm here to speak my truths. I'm here to be a woman that needs to have her mind and her voice and her heart open. Not for just you, but for myself, for the next generation, the generation to come. We are the grandmothers of the next seven generations of the children. We have so much power inside of us by using our voice, by opening our heart, by being accepting and loving. It rained last night. It was pouring and thundering. Oh my goodness, you should have heard the thunder. And I love it. I love it. The sound of it. I love it. And that's what we need to be. We need to be like the thunder and the rain and wash everything out. Wash all those old ideas, all those fears, all that past. Wash it away. And sometimes we have to get loud like the thunder. We have to. Sometimes it takes the worst things in our life. It takes the pain and hurt, disease, death, so that we become broken, so that we become the women we need to be and break the silence and to just become the woman we need to be and I know it happened to me I know I had to go through a lot of many 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 things in my younger years and those things have made me the woman I am those things this Kalina this grandmother this woman this sister I am Kintsuki woman I am stronger I'm beautiful I am everything I need to be you know and it's taken many, many decades. And so it doesn't matter where you are. You might be just starting out. You might just be a young, young girl. And this is a grandmother that's gone through those things. This is a grandmother. And I'm opening up my voice and my heart and my mind for you today. And I want to say the words that need to be heard. And I want you to know that I'm here. For all my Kintsuki sisters, I want you to join me. My grandmother's. I'm, um, every Wednesday morning at 9.30, I have a Zoom meeting. I'll put my link in here. 
but we belong to the Global Grandmothers Council Network. And so I am here to invite you to be part of that journey with me. I thank God for this chance to have my voice and use my voice and open these channels, open these channels in our hearts and our minds. And I invite you to be part of my Kintsuki Sisters group on Wednesdays. Now we have one every morning. There's other women that if Wednesdays don't work, there are other mornings that you can join other women and their journeys. And we each have our own little sort of like little theme or little the way we see life and what we need to share and what our voices bring to the circle. Each one of us have a message and are, are um, able to be here for you. So you find out there is a going to be likely more on our you'll find out in the website 99 the beginning of a new journey too uh, opening doors and so this is going to be a wonderful year wonderful year for all of us grandmothers global grandmothers everywhere this is your opportunity to join all of us women hold hands lace your fingers in mine and join me join all of us together and uh, yes now the sunshine is coming out we're gonna have a beautiful day it's a beautiful day. I don't see any fish, but there's a few ducks and geese going by. It's a very quiet, beautiful morning. I love the mornings. I love the peace and quiet. And I know it's funny, while we were here, nobody was out on their boats. There's quite a few boats here. The neighbors all have boats. And I know a lot of people get used to this kind of life. I can never get used to this because I just love it so much and I appreciate every single moment that I'm in nature like this. I appreciate I know a lot of people have to go to work, right? And so maybe they don't get out as often as they need to, but hopefully they get to appreciate and know how special this kind of life is. If we were up north, like this is lucky, this home is right in town and it's uh, right on the waterway here. That's very private and beautiful. Take care of you today, Kintsuki sisters, Kintsuki grandmas. This is Kintsuki calling you. And check my website, kintsukiwoman.com, and let me know how all this resonates with you. I don't know, I didn't mention, but Kintsuki means it's a Japanese philosophy, right? And what it is is when something's broken and you put it back together, and it's put back together with gold, and it's stronger, and it's more beautiful. And that's how I feel I am. I've been broken, and we've been shattered, we've been fragmented, and I'm back together, and we're back together with God's love. And we've been healed, and sometimes those cracks are going to break again, you know, so there's something else, and sometimes it's a big gouging, and we just are healed more with God's love. We have God's love inside of us. We have the universe looking after us. We have a sister of all of us sisters together and we heal we heal god's got so much love for us and we've got a new generation of women that are coming by new women that are coming in and we need to just be ready because we don't know what's planned we don't know what's planned we don't know what is next but we are wonderful beautiful healthy strong women and take care of you love you Enjoy. Take some time for yourself. Take some time for yourself. Get yourself a cup of chai. I don't have my chai here with me, but I did enjoy my coffee. Take care of you. Kalina, Kintsuki sister grandma. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Anyhow, this, uh, these beautiful yellow flowers over here, I don't know the name of them over here, but they are so tall and they start off tiny little flowers and they've got these, uh, beautiful bright yellow flowers on them. Let me just show you up here. Look like they've wilted a little bit because of all that rain and thunder. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? I love the sunflowers. And these, I can stand up real tall. They're maybe almost six foot or more, right? Really beautiful. Okay, ladies. Enjoy your day. One more moment of serene. Look at that. She's cold. Take care of you. Kalina, Kintsuki woman.